All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, let's see. Hold on, I uh, forgot to click my Star Wars stuff. Uh, we're up to Cloud World number. That's not correct, right? Oh, I get. Yeah, I thought there was something not right here. It was the cash. Yeah, so we're up to number three thirty. I think it's the one person that subscribed. I'm actually kind of surprised anyone even subscribes to this thing. Uh, but then again, you know, I'm not going. Uh, too crazy nowadays. New guild orders have been issued. Hmm. Uh, okay, well, I kind of already spent all my dudes here, so. Uh, so I got an all right night's sleep last night. Uh, oh, that is funny. <laughs> that is funny. I didn't actually know you could actually have an X on here. Yeah, well, unfortunately, it looks like we're kind of screwed here, so. Yeah, but anyway, um... Whatchamacallit. Yeah, so I got an all right night's sleep. I uh, had a little too much energy, which is ironic because somebody on BitChute asked a comment about I wish I could sleep as well as you did, so I, I gave him a lot of advice. Uh, actually, we could probably go... Yeah, that's right. Oh, God. Uh, you know, so I'm a little bit groggy. All right. But uh, at least but at least BitChute's gotten a lot better. It looks like they've gone back up to 58%. So where is my thing? Oh yeah, so here's the, here's like the really big post. I think there's a couple stuff that I also didn't include because there's a lot, but. Uh, all right, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to read this later. Um, I guess I'll just have to read this later. Uh, also, also I kind of wish that guy would uh, hit the enter key once in a while so I can kind of read this. Oh, well, I'll just fuck it. I'll just read it. Um, uh, yeah, my career and science not resonates are separate days. My kids are fairly young industry. Well, unfortunately, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know about insomnia, but. Uh, okay, so he's really Christian stuff. So he's studying Christianity, so that's good. So he's got that at least. Uh, he does not do exercise. Okay. Oh, okay. So he mostly drives, so that could be a problem. But yeah, he's gonna have to definitely figure out a way to do some kind of exercising. Uh, the only thing I could think of is uh, truckers usually have some kind of like truck stops, right, or pit stops. He's just gonna have to figure out how to like just ha like just do some kind of weights or even push-ups or something. Um, I guess he'll have to bring like dumbbells with him or something. And then he could just do it during the truck stop. But he doesn't have to have that too. Like he could just go like on a bench. I just go like you know do like angled push-ups on it you know that could work uh, da, 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 da. Um, let's see oh yeah melatonin yeah I didn't know melatonin was available either but then I think uh, when Mike Cervich was selling like his gorilla dream pills I looked at the ingredients and I was like oh okay I could probably just buy, find the same exact thing on Amazon and Mike even mentioned that in like his Periscope shortly after that. So he's like, you know, people can do what I basically just did, you know. So and plus, I just like buying everything off of Amazon. So, uh, way very loving behavior. I see rarely on the internet. Well, thank you, thank you. Much less video channel services. You're a good man. Uh, thanks. I appreciate you and work very much. So peace. Yes, indeed. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna reply to him. Said, okay. Uh, I commented a bit on today's BTC 330 video in response to this. Good luck, man. And thanks. All right. So, all right. So I did that because that's actually a lot easier. I assume he's actually watching a list. Actually, if he's trucking, he's probably listening to it because then, I mean, you're. Driving a truck for like a billion hours, so I mean you're obviously you're obviously gonna get bored. So you gotta listen to something. I mean that's what I do, right? I mean some people can read a book, but I mean you're driving a truck, so obviously you can't read a book. So all you have is to just listen to like stuff online, like a radio. So it's actually kind of nice. All right, so all right, so hopefully uh, he'll uh, get better. But yeah, it's definitely because trucking, like truck is just tough because it's just like long hours. I think even in some cases, some truckers actually drive for like 21 hours so yeah that's going to definitely disrupt your uh, pat uh sleeping patterns for sure so i mean 
I don't know. Hopefully, uh, I mean, I don't know what his money situation is going to be like, but yeah, if he if he could find a way to like change jobs so he can have like a more normal work day, but still not have to worry about money, you know, that would definitely be an option. Uh, but anyway, where was I? Oh yeah. So let's see. So Bitcoin searches for last. No, wait, that's not right. For last week is finalizing at seven. It looks like for the past couple of weeks, Google is pretty set on seven. So, all right. So basically the normies are still not very interested in Bitcoin and crypto, despite it going, you know, pretty nuts, especially during the stock market too. Like this whole coronavirus shit's making people go crazy. Uh, the good news is it does look like uh, the mark, at least the American markets are going up like crazy. Um, but then, of course, the Chinese and Asian markets are just going straight to hell because, like, you know, everyone's just getting so scared of the coronavirus. Like, I have, like, a, a proxy. I use Tunnel Bear. So, like, I actually set it to Hong Kong. So when I'm on Twitter, it actually knows that I'm probably using a proxy, so it doesn't ask me to constantly re-log in. So it's very nice. So every time I activate the Hong Kong proxy, all the Twitter trends always say coronavirus, virus, uh quarantine and all this other crazy shit like oh my god <laughs> so and it's kind of it's kind of insane too it's like hundreds of thousands of tweets like 300,000 400,000 tweets so uh yeah it's kind of rampaging across uh, China right now so uh, but the good news is it does even though the cases and deaths are rising the percentage of deaths actually seem closer to two percent which is obviously a good thing so right the, the the, the low, so that basically means you have like a 98% chance, assuming you have access to some kind of medical care. So in our case, most of us probably do, right? I know. I mean, I live in New York City, so obviously I all have access to like NYU and shit. Um, and the other good hospitals. So, you know, I, I probably would be fine, even though I probably technically have a compromised immune system because of my inflammation. But, um, you know, I'm... I think I'm still technically losing weight, just not as fast as I like. So, you know, that, at least that's getting better. So, uh, yeah, so because of that, you know, now people are moving away from crypto. They're actually dumping crypto. That's why it's down today. And they're all they're all going back into the stock market. So money's just so the rich people are just shifting their money around. So it, I said, I think in yesterday's video that this would be a 50 50 once people realize this coronavirus. As scary as it sounds, it's not really that bad, all things considered. So, uh, of course, uh, the folks at the Thunder Daily are still... I mean, I didn't have a chance to read the article because I wanted to just do this video. But he's like, everyone's going to die! And I couldn't tell if he was joking or, like, you know, whatevering or something. Yeah, like, people are just really freaked out about it. And, you know, I'm sad to say that. That's kind of a problem with conservatives. You're like... We're way too, like, crazy when it comes to, like, this science fear shit. Like, there's a reason why, you know, liberals, when they say the stereotype that conservatives and religious, especially Christians, are, like, just anti-science. Like, that stereotype actually has some truth to it. It's like, you know, you have to learn not to go crazy with this stuff, right? So, uh, fear-mongering, yeah, that, that's it. You know, you gotta learn not to... You know, go too crazy with the fear mongering. All right, that's uh, that's according to Jesse Lee Pearson. That's like you know the Satan working through you or something. And honestly, that's not good. So you know, like if you're afraid, well, just get the facts, get the knowledge. You know, like you know, and then do some of the math on it. Right? You know, just just do a proportion. Like, uh, like you know, like you have a two percent chance of dying from a disease that's very treatable. Right? Even though we don't have a vaccine out for it yet. You know, how, how fearful should you be if you're in that situation, right? Also, if you're not Asian, right, you know, you have a, you have a much better chance of surviving this thing, too. So, I mean, <laughs> like, your chances of surviving this thing is actually much better than 98%. So, I mean, it's all about perspective and math. So, uh, you uh, do that. All right. So, uh, yeah, because uh, cause, cause I'm natural. like, I took a... Jordan Jordan Peterson personality test. And I can only take it one time. Right? He says you can only take it one time. And it's something about bias or whatever. All right? I scored a 69 out of 100 on neuroticism all right? as, a, as a genetic trait. Because, right? you know, us Asians, we just tend to be afraid all the time. Right? And it's just part of our genes, I guess. And, uh, you know, I personally think, like, thousands of years ago, my ancestors used to be, like, the scouts for, like, the tribe or whatever. So, like, you know, we always have to be alert. That's why I get easily woken up. And then, like, even the slightest noise makes me wake up, right? Because, you know, we have to 
somebody had to keep watch over the night uh, over the tribe while where everyone was sleeping at night right so so unfortunately I, I guess i still have some of those genes so anyway basically neuroticism means like the higher the number the more likely you're just a bit uh, you're more likely to just be afraid of everything in general right i was like oh okay i'll explain why I mean, fear is like such a big problem for me so you know now that i know that you know now that i'm more aware of it like justin lee peterson would say you know, I'm able to take steps to deal with it. Like, oh, this is just a, this is this is just irrational fear. Maybe I should just do some research and try to lower it. That's how I, you know, deal with it. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, uh, Bitcoin DAO is at 65.3 percent, so it's still pretty much the same. 24-hour volume is 110.6 billion with a B. So it's still pretty healthy volume, but most of it's apparently just you know tanking the markets a tad bit. So Bitcoin's at 93.47, so it's still kind of like basically the same. It's flatlining a little bit, and you know a lot of reds here across the board. Yeah, some greens though. Uh, Ethereum's essentially the same. I don't really keep track. Uh, Bitcoin Cash and SV, funny enough, are pretty much flatlining, so that's actually pretty good. Litecoin is at seventy dollars, or essentially seventy dollars. It's actually sixty nine ninety nine. It's down 2.82%. Yeah, because yesterday before I went to bed, it was up to like seventy two, seventy three bucks, and then I guess. This morning, uh, everyone decided to dump a little bit. Doggy coins at 303.8 or 9 million market cap. So it's so it's down 1.12%, but it's still way up from before. So it's still pretty good. Um, some more red, some more red. Uh, where's Steam? Steam is at 17.87 cents. It's actually up a little bit, 1.67%. That's actually kind of surprising. All right, well, nonetheless, I'm not complaining. So can, yeah, it's at 566. It's actually going down a lot, even though today the markets are going up. So that's actually technically good. We want can and these other cryptocurrency stocks to go down when crypto goes down. Because again, you know, we need to be able to short the market. Of course, the problem is, it looks like Grayscale Trust uh, does not have options and can may not even have options either. So I don't know, I guess it might be Ledger X for all of us. So JFC Core for some reason is still in uh, wallet maintenance. Today is Monday. Okay, so today is Monday, so it should be full fledged uh, whatever um, work day at uh, England. So um, actually, I don't even know if these guys are based in England anymore because they actually banned Great Britain from accessing the site. So that was pretty interesting. Yeah, but either way, uh, this maintenance is kind of nice. Uh, so JMC is at three to four uh, sub Satoshi, so it's finally gone up. Um, and that being said, I have no idea why it's under maintenance. Like people hardly even trade on corrects, so I, I don't know. Um, four hundred four has also recovered because obviously everything's going down a bit. So four hundred four, you know, everybody was dumping four hundred four to get everything else. So now that everything else is going down and people the stocks are going up a bit. You know, now they're, you know, buying up a little bit more 404. Uh, still not a whole lot, though. Uh, but it looks like when I was asleep last night, there was a ton of buying at 13 and 14 substitutions. That's actually a lot. We're looking at... I don't know, I'm just going to eyeball this real quick. That looks like 10 million to 15 million 404 coins. All right, so that's actually pretty good. Unfortunately, it's still not enough, but you know, I'll take whatever I can get. Because um, uh, I was... Think about programming yesterday because I find I decided to do like some programming. I went I ran into some annoying bug that's just not addressed in the course, and it's just and it's just whatever. But I learned how to use GitHub, so now I'm backing up all my files in GitHub, which is free, right? And I don't think there's a space limit, so it's very nice. So just in case I screw up, you know, I can just simply re-download the they call it a repository at GitHub. I just download all my code again, and I can just go back to doing whatever. So, and it's also very nice to sync too, because it's like, hey, a bunch of these files change, and here's some new files. You know, we've discovered 900 changes. Would you like to upload everything to GitHub? And it's just, it, and I just hit a button, and it just like uploads automatically and syncs. It's like so much better than like six to nine months ago when I tried using the GitHub desktop version. It was so, it was so user unfriendly. I just wanted to like punch my computer. I was like, oh, man, I can't code. I, I can't deal with this. So, uh, yeah, so I'm glad that, you know, everything's getting so much easier. So, you know, basically anybody can, like, fucking learn to code at this point, which is good. Well, I guess it would also be bad if you're trying to get a job, but I could care less because, obviously, uh, I'm making my own game. So I'm, like, my own businessman. 
So, in fact, it would be good if everybody learned to code so that I can actually find people to help me code this uh, this game. So, uh, oh yeah, so I don't know if I said it yesterday, but maybe I did, but I'll say it. So, Bitcoin, BTC pop listed 2x2 two two coin very quickly, right? I didn't even expect it. So, it's now live on BTC pop exchange. So, now you have an uh, alternative place to buy and sell a uh, two by two coin and it's a staking pool too so uh that's so now that's up and running so that's going up and then of course now that everyone's hopping back into 404 to a two by two and jmc coin prices are also going up for two by two coin uh so it's at 80 to 84. i mean how long this lasts well basically it'll last as long as uh you know bitcoin and the main cryptos are not going up so who knows how long that'll take but for now um you know, people are shuffling money around. I'll probably last a few days, uh, maybe a whole week, all right? Because I still haven't heard anybody talking about Brexit uh, all that much. Uh, it's like, you know, what, like, you know, uh, which is another indicator of fake news. Because, like, you know, all, all the fake news terrorist networks are like, well, Bre if Brexit happens, all of Europe, the world economy is going to, like, explode. And it's like, we're going to have the apocalypse. And all of a sudden, you know, it happens and then nothing and then nobody's talking about it anymore. It's like it's so it's so deceptive. It's it, it's it's such bullshit. Right. And it's just it's just annoying because I would like to know, OK, Brexit's happened. And like, well, what's the economic impact? And then nobody wants to say anything because it's like, you know, oh, it's like we speak up and say nothing bad happens. Then we have to answer for all the lying and fear mongering we've been doing for the past, you know, three, four years. Right. And it's just like, oh, God, just I just really hate the fake news terrorists. But, um, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, the Groyper uprising and the six and the actual success of Brexit will finally um, will finally, uh, whatchamacallit, start rolling back all this uh, degenerate, lying, satanic, evil stuff. Right. And uh, speaking of which, uh, actually, I probably should not show on Twitter because I want to try to keep this video safe for YouTube. But there was actually a, a Republican state representative or a state senator from Florida who actually proposed um, banning, uh, can't say the word trans, well, I could, but they were proposing a certain type of activity that we all consider very like child abuse, essentially. That involves, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't risk it. But basically, uh, I, I don't even think I could show it. But it's so, it's somewhere on my t Twitter timeline, so you don't have to dig through it. Uh, but basically, um, and then he followed me, and then I followed him back immediately because he's doing God's work. But yeah, like we're actually taking a stand against the the, the degeneracy that's occurring um, across America. So you know. Interestingly enough, it happens to be Florida, so you know I'll be happy to you know eventually move there and help out with that stuff too. Um, but uh, eventually, if I do actually get a, I mean, I probably will get super rich and I start like a movie studio or whatever. I have to actually be a little careful because if I start a movie studio, that's going to attract a lot of like you know like shit libs and like those you know crazy far left Bernie Sanders types and then I'm, and then and then I'll be the guy that actually winds up fucking over Florida. So I have to now take that into consideration. So I have to like figure out how am I gonna balance all of this. <laughs> it's, it's like my God, like the more I learn, the more I realize, man, I got I got I got more problems and more questions. But I mean that's just how it goes, right? You know, it's just a never ending, you know, cycle of learning, right? So uh but I'm sure, you know, God will keep guiding me. So, you know, that that's, that's the whole point. Uh, I already said two by two. Yeah. So Kapow coins at uh, 4150 to like 4980 Satoshis of a dog coin. All right. I'm trying to go by the volume, right? Because these small little sell and buy orders don't really count for anything. So, uh, yeah. So it's still doing okay. You know, Kapow coin is still pretty stable. Uh, I guess it'll stay stable for a while. All right, so I didn't really find anything interesting in the news, so we're just going to look at some of the headlines, and of course, I'll just comment on it. Bitcoin logs best January performance in seven years as value surges nearly forty billion. Ah, see, the thing is, CNBC is literally like ten years late. All right, I recognized the value of Bitcoin in like twenty eleven or twenty ten ish, right, and that's after like a whole year of thinking. I mean, the my my the the, the years might be off by a couple of years. 
But I definitely spent like one to one point five or two years. This had to have actually happened after. This actually had to have been old two thousand eleven to two thousand twelve because this happened after I gave everything up to God, right? And that was in the twenty tens, like January twenty ten. So uh, what you call it? But up until then, you know. I spent like everybody else like oh bitcoin's a stupid idea it's like you know why what are it's like this is this is just ridiculous just 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 stick with gold and you know federal reserve and all that stuff because i had just because i just simply because i basically i didn't really graduate but basically i finished going to college and i finished my finance courses so we learned all about this economic stuff so it's still technically useful the problem is it's still uh missing some components yeah, now that I'm programming, I'm using you know programming language. So it's, yeah, but it's missing some components, and you know, uh, it took me a year to, or two, and after you know, uh, I guess becoming Christian again or Catholic, I guess, uh, to realize, hey, wait a minute, Bitcoin was God's answer for all of these problems that I keep complaining about. Oh, we should, I should get into Bitcoin. All right, I've never looked back since. So yeah, of course, it's going to surge a lot, but again, you need vision. And well, quite frankly, I would probably just suggest, yeah, be Christian, because uh, it really does lay the foundation for everything else. Because then, because then, uh, consciously or subconsciously, you're like, hey, wait a minute, why do I find this idea stupid? Why do I, ha why do I have anger or hate for like this idea? Maybe I should take a look at it, you know, kind of thing. You know, I mean, that's just my guess. Bitcoin price forms, golden, okay, that's technical analysis crap. Uh, Twitter creates Bitcoin symbol as a social media galactic for to full crypto. I already mentioned this in yesterday's video, so. I mean, Jack Dorsey and Twitter really like Bitcoin, so that's good for us. Bitcoin could fall hard, this textbook, Akish, okay, it's more technical analysis, uh, technical analysis. Bitcoin surges amid corona outbreak, can blockchain save social media? Okay, so that's just, uh, this is a day ago. Coronavirus fears could see Bitcoin explode and values China markets plummet. Oh, that's the other thing too. Because the market, I didn't consider this. Because the markets are tanking in Asia and China in particular. Yeah, actually, they're probably dumping a lot of their money into crypto. But they could easily just dump a lot of their money in like American and European markets. So, uh, great, now my nose is running. Oh, yeah. So... I'm running out of like napkins because these are all from Chipotle, so I always like take a bunch of napkins, right? And I consider that they're charging me twenty dollars for food that should really cost like eight bucks, right? I consider that twelve dollar margin, you know, acceptable for me taking a lot of these very nice napkins. Like I went to the CVS because like I usually go to Walgreens. It used to be I think Rite Aid. So I was looking for uh, napkins and paper towel to buy because I went on Amazon to try to buy it. And I was like, oh, this is really expensive. I'll just go to the store. So there was like an express checkout line that also happens to also split off into like the full service checkout with a clerk. Right. But it's the same line and the same sign. No, not the same line, but it forks from the same thing. So basically it's two lines, but it's joined together at a corner. So I went in the express checkout line. And then some, and then like I went up to the thing as soon as it was free, and then as soon as I started scanning or tried to scan, some angry looking like I mean she was okay looking I guess, but she, some like angry like white lady or I think she was actually Jewish because like um, I could kind of tell just by you know just looking at them. I gotta be careful not to go too crazy, right? And then she was also what's like I think it's her really old grandma or something, some really old lady. And she had like this angry feminazi look. It's like, that's not the, you have to wait online like everybody else. It's like, you know, what? like, what the, f I was like, what the fuck? And then I was like, lady, it's like, the, 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 the entry for the express line is over there. It says so on the sign. And then like the kind of soy boyish uh, beta male white dude was like, yeah, it's like, this is how you get into the express checkout line. It was actually pretty nice, so. That's why, that's why, you know, you shouldn't judge the beta mills. So that's what Jesse Lee Peterson says. Because, uh, like, A, they can't help it. And then, B, from my own point of view, is like, oh, yeah, I mean, it's probably karma. Like, God probably puts all these people here for a reason, right? So <laughs> I just found out what the reason was. It's like, hey, he's helping back, back me up. Because, like, you have two people telling the woman, like the angry woman, hey, you're wrong. Well, you know, now she just can't just say, well, well, you're, 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 you're just cutting the lines. Like all, all Chinese people are just rude. It's like, you know, cause like, and that's the other thing too. Like, it's like, 
there's a bunch of people also at the checkout like doing the exact same thing at the express checkout. It's like, why are you targeting me for you? Like, you, you dumb cunt. Obviously, I didn't say dumb cunt. But, you know, I got really annoyed. And then, oh, yeah. And then I also looked at around all the other people behind her. It was mostly women, too. They also had, like, this angry-looking look or, like, disgust. Or, like, I don't know what the hell everyone's problem is. It's like, it's a fucking CVS checkout line. It's, it's like it's it still tilts me a little bit it's not good that's tilting me but it's like i just cannot understand why people get so tilted like this so like when i move to florida it's like it's gonna that's gonna be replaced by whites and blacks screaming at each other like accusing each other of being racist it's like dude it's just a checkout line what the hell is everyone's problem but anyway, the, the real travesty of that story was like I paid seventeen or sixteen dollars for like seven hundred and fifty lunch napkins and a paper towel roll. So it's like it's like it, it's it's it used to be like a few years ago like eight bucks or ten bucks for the same thing. So it's like my God, you know. I mean, I I guess uh, I guess we're not planting enough trees or something. So anyway, I guess I should not go back to that CVS, but I don't know. Anyway, coronavirus fears could see Bitcoin. Oh, I already read that. Nearly six billion ready to move into Bitcoin. Uh, okay, Bitcoin bull market is here, but it won't top 100k in 2020, says Trader. Yeah, I mean, I don't need to read the technical analysis, but he is probably right. I mean, uh, I mean, it's already going to be enough if Bitcoin just simply goes back to 20k. But then I guess, but then once it hits 20k, then it's going to take anywhere from three to nine months that's what it did before before it starts skyrocketing like crazy but the problem is this could be a little different because the fundamentals are getting stronger more people are getting aware i mean there's a lot of there's a lot of variables that i just we're just going to need to wait and see and on top of that if bitcoin's going to be different and make this bull run last a lot longer than 1.5 to 2 years then yeah the fundamental nature of this bull run is going to be different right you know, because uh, so something has changed. Which in this case is the um, duration of the bull market. When you're changing something, a, a parameter such as that, uh, such as time, well, yeah, a lot of other things are going to be changing too. So, Tech Giant gears up. Actually, you know what? Let me refresh this. Tech Giant gears up. That's actually a pretty nice thumbnail picture. I'm just going to open it just for that. Tech Giant gears up to launch new crypto assets. 700,000 us million users in Japan. Oh, huh. Actually, we might want to read that. Twitter creates Bitcoin. Okay, I don't need that. Uh, movement of Bitcoin and Ripple. Yeah, whatever. Bitcoin will make all other currencies obsolete. Unchained Capital's Parker Lewis. I'm not good. I mean, I technically should read. Ah, God, I really don't want to read what this idiot has to say. Uh, scarcity, gravitational force. Community. Yeah, okay, you're just. Yeah, he's uh, he's a little bit too. Um, what you call it? I don't want to say narrow-minded, but what's the word? Tunnel vision. That's it. He's very tunnel visioned, right? He doesn't like. I I've, I've heard so much crap like this before. You have to, you have to, see, a lot of these people also don't play video games or design video games. So they don't understand something called player emergent behavior, which is funny enough called game theory, which is studied in economics. So I don't understand why people still don't understand this. All right. Just because you have rules and you think something is right and then all this other stuff, you still have to, you still have to take into account that people will just randomly do things for their own selfish interest, right? And they're going to act, people will act not only in selfish ways, but in unpredictable, well, not unpredictable, but uh, innov innovative, uh, selfish ways to act, right? It's like, you know, you think, you know, and this was a huge problem with World of Warcraft, right? People, you know, Blizzard Entertainment, the guys who make War World of Warcraft, they would implement a bunch of rules and ideas and say okay everybody should be doing this what winds up happening well people do something completely different and then it breaks the game and then blizzard's like oh shit, what do we do right first of all the reason why, bitcoin may be scarce but so is gold it may be hard to get but so is gold etc etc well what if it doesn't take into account is well what do people use cryptocurrency for well if you're a criminal right like a drug dealer or the palestinians and like hamas Right, you're gonna to want to be anonymous, right? That's so like you're not gonna to want to use Bitcoin in that case because everyone's gonna ban you, and you're like, ah, well, you know, let's not use Bitcoin, let's use something else. So, not 
Anonymity. God. How do you pronounce this word? Anonymity. Anonymity. What? Anonymity. Anonymity. Oh, man. That N to the Y and to the M is like so hard. Anonymity. 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 Uh, just being anonymous is really important, right? So, you know, that's why you have other coins. And then what's the other thing, too? Oh, yeah. What if Bitcoin just becomes you feel too expensive, but you want to get into the cryptocurrency market? Well, you want an alternative, right? So that's why you have like these, like, what is it? 5,089 cryptocurrencies listed on coin market cap. Eventually, you know, my cryptos will hopefully be on there and uh you know mitch is still taking care of his stuff so you know so we'll so we'll be around for a long time and uh yeah i mean there's just a lot of reasons why different reasons that you cannot anticipate that people just use crypto right and sometimes people don't like the rules of bitcoin i don't like the rules of bitcoin it's too slow and it's too annoying that's why if i could do it i do everything through litecoin right because i don't like you know because uh, I don't like having to wait 30 to say 45 minutes for my Bitcoin transa transaction to show up on the blockchain. That's just too slow for me. You know, if I did Litecoin, well, guess what? It shows up within three minutes. It's like, it's fantastic. So there's like a million different reasons why, right? You know, so that, that's why Bitcoin making everything else obsolete is just stupid. And on top of that, it's open source software. So we can all just copy and paste Bitcoin and then steal market share. So this guy seems to be running a hedge fund. So, uh, I mean, just a little annoyed. Um, let's see. There's also another thing too. Oh yeah. So when you have a commodity, which is what Bitcoin is and gold is, there it's all, it's all a commodity, and you have the exact same substitute. Well, guess what? It's the substitute's going to take away money from like the original uh, product, right? In this case. Well, you could buy Bitcoin or you could buy a copycat of Bitcoin. They both do the same thing, right? That's obviously going to split the money, you know, uh, between the two uh, commodities or assets, if you want to call it. Why do you think pharmaceutical companies hate generics so much? Because they basically copycat exactly chemical for chemical, atom for atom or whatever. The uh, name brand prescription drugs that sell for like, you know, $1,000. But now you can buy the same exact generic uh, copycat knockoff for $25. And then, you know, the FDA, the, uh, I don't know, what, what, yeah, the FDA, yeah, the FDA and all the uh, medical associations are like, yeah, this thing is safe for human consumption. Yeah, go, go nuts. Yeah, what do you, why do you think they do that? Because it's the same, it's the same exact thing. And of course, it's very evil, right? Because they're obviously, they're profiting off of sick people who need this life-saving uh, medication. So, uh, yeah, that's actually why if you actually need meds. What you should, and you actually have an okay amount of money or you're willing to spend an okay amount of money because obviously you're sick or your loved one is sick, you should actually fly to a foreign country and get medical care from there, like Australia or uh, Iceland or Greenland. I forgot. It's, it's either, I think it's Iceland, right? So you could get basically the same kind of quality, you know, American health care, but for like a fraction of the cost and they just pay the money, right? So you just do that. Like if I, because if, if I get sick and I find I can't afford it, guess what I'm going to do? Yeah, I'm just going to hop on a plane. Uh, obviously, don't go to China at this time because of the coronavirus, right? I'll fly to Iceland and says, hey, doc, nurse, uh, I'm an American citizen, not a citizen of Iceland. So uh, can I just pay you whatever and then just treat me? It's like, okay, yeah, you're not a citizen. Pay us five bucks, five dollars USD. It's like, and we'll find out what's wrong with you, right? I read a, tw a whole Twitter thread about it. It's like, wow, okay, that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah, see, you see. I mean, I, I mean I, some of you can't actually see uh, wa see what I'm doing, but yeah, it's like you gotta use your brain here, right? 250 IQ uh, poggers, you know, that, that's why God gave you a brain, so you might as well uh, take advantage of it. Google's quantum computing chief says China's ambition may threaten U.S. lead. Well, I guess I'll read that too. Well, actually, where are we at? 34 minutes? Oh, we haven't even written read the articles yet. Bitcoin treasure hunt lunches on Minecraft. If you're fine, okay, we definitely have to read that. Uh, I guess this video is going to wind up being 40 minutes. Cardano futures arrive. Binance launches perpetual swaps. Oh yeah, Binance could be a uh, a thing I could use too, but they are still rolling out. Um, oh my god, this video is going to wind up being an hour long. All right, so we better just start digging into this. 
All right, so Binance. Uh, so Binance, you can trade Cardano options with 75x leverage. Okay. Uh, Binance is offering any future trade is extremely risky. Binance warrants with the potential for huge gains and devastating losses. Well, yeah, you don't have to tell me that. Yeah, I used to do Ford Currency Exchange, Forex markets. So they go up to 100x leverage. The reason why you lose money, I mean, I don't want to get into it. But basically, you have a math, you mathematically keep losing money, right? If you go up 20% and you have an asset that's worth 100 bucks, now it's worth 120. But let's say it goes down like, you know, 20% or whatever. Well, that 120 now becomes like, uh, what is it? Uh, 120 minus 24 is 96 dollars so even though the asset itself is supposed to still be worth a hundred dollars for some reason because of the mathematical anomaly you've now lose four dollars may not be too bad but that's a 1x when you like do leverage you multiply that by the leverage so let's say you do that a hundred x right well suddenly that four dollar loss is now multiplied by a hundred so that's a four hundred dollar loss so now you know uh whatchamacallit if you gain twenty dollars and you do twenty times a hundred, that's two. Is that right? We're gonna have to use web calc for this. So a hundred times. Let's see. Is a twenty dollar gain? So it's a so it's two thousand percent gain. With two thousand percent is twenty. So a hundred dollars times twenty. So you feel pretty good. You've made two thousand dollars, but then now this thing is going down. Uh, 20, so this thing is now going down 2,000%. So how do you, God, this is already getting kind of complicated. So your $2,000 is now going down 2,000%. Actually, yeah, you, you lose all your money because now you're, ne you're now negative 2,000% from a base of $2,000, which is basically you lose, uh, minus 20. Yeah. You go like negative like 10,000. So that math, I call it a mathematical anomaly, but basically you're losing money um, every time. So, uh, and, and then basically you uh, get wiped out, right? Because like all, because all it takes is a minus 100% and then you lose. So that's why leverage, that's why uh, trading currencies just doesn't work. It's only for short term uh, gain. And even then you would have to predict correctly uh the um the movement which is and it took me a long time a long time for me to figure out that problem it's like oh so that's why that's why it doesn't matter no matter what you do if you play long enough you're guaranteed to lose everything because the mathematics are just too too powerful to ignore right you know and they always say too big to fail yeah well math is just too hard to ignore so uh yeah so that's why the only exception to this that I found is options, you know, like stock options. So that like, because you're, because you get the benefit of the leverage, but your cost is always fixed at the price of the option that you bought it for. So that you put in 50 grand for like, you know, a 100 X, you know, call or put option, right? You know, Bitcoin going up or down or whatever, right? In our case, we're going to be buying put options because we, we want to short the market. Right, we buy 50, I'm gonna buy like 50K, for example, worth of put options. My, my risk is limited to 50,000, right? So even if, you know, the thing goes down like, you know, 50, negative 50, like it go it moves against me like negative 50,000%, right? So it's like way, way crazy leverage. My stock options are basically gonna be at worst just zero. So I just lose 50 grand. But because there's a time duration on it, should the market go back in my favor, that thing could actually go back up in, uh, in value again. That's why options are like the superior uh, superior uh, uh, option for trading, uh, you know, derivatives and shorting the markets. So um, yeah, but I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm glad. So yeah, it's good that finance is getting into the derivatives and futures markets, but. I don't know. Maybe I could take a look at the Binance futures because I, I still don't actually know the difference between futures and options. Ah, fuck it. Uh, difference between futures and options. I mean, I, I mean, they're kind of a future is a right obligation to buy or sell an underlying stock at a predetermined price and deliverable. Options are a right without an obligation to 
buy or sell. Oh, a future is a right and an obligation to buy and sell. Ah. Uh, that's interesting. So you buy a futures contract, you are required to execute it. Interesting. So yeah, actually, if the trade goes against you and you have a future, you're going to be buying a really bad uh, option, or you're going to be buying you're going to be buying a commodity at the like the completely wrong price. Wow, futures are really bad and risky. Yeah, screw that. Because at least with options, I have the option to just not do anything. Um, if you're a fan of Minecraft and stacking Satoshis, this new treasure hunt may be right up your alley. New Minecraft hunt called Satoshi Quest. Just hit the front page of the Bitcoin subreddit. Uh, the creator of the game says it's 100% open source and gives players a unique Bitcoin wallet linked to their universally universal ID in Minecraft. Excuse me. The objective of the game is simple. Upon the first login, players receive a wallet address where they can deposit $1 worth of Bitcoin. Players use the deposit of Bitcoin to purchase lives. They can then join a battle royale style quest to explore the vast Minecraft realm with the final pot of loot. Developer says that when someone is close to Pilot, the game will announce the player's location. This gives our participants the chance to trash and try to steal it and, of course, kill the player. <laughs> oh my god, it's like Battle Royale meets Locust Swarm. <laughs> That's actually kind of like what I'm going to design my Battle Royale to kind of do. Except uh, everybody's going to get the loot based on their uh, uh, rank. So as long as you survive, you get a better rank and then you do better. The Satoshi Quest creator says all transactions are done on chain, and once the loot is found, the game resets. Holy shit! If he was able to figure this out, because I kind of want to do like on chain uh, transactions with my game too. Like you can actually get stuff, and then it's stored in the blockchain. A wide variety of Bitcoin treasure hunts have appeared over the years. Blah 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 blah. Okay, and what's nice is this guy made it. Um, this guy made it open source, huh? He was able to do that Bitcoin. Interesting. Very interesting. This would definitely be... See, the thing is, I'm still not progressed well enough in my programming, so... But I could definitely see the possibilities. This could, this could actually be really nice. Um, let me see. Google's quantum computing. Actually, yeah. I've been having trouble with real money marketplace implementation. What if I actually made it so that the real market money place transactions would take place on... The blockchain. The problem is the item has degradation. So how do I also? I guess I could try to report so that hey, this item has been vendored or removed, <clears throat> or has reached zero durability and can no longer be repaired. I guess maybe that goes on the blockchain too. Uh, that's how we get rid of it. Huh? Uh, it's definitely it's definitely an advanced thing. I'm gonna have to think about later. But it's definitely something I could actually use to solve the uh, real mar money market problem thing. Because also there's also uh, Regulations too. Google's quantum computing. Where are we at? Forty-three minutes. Google's quantum computing chief says China's ambition may threaten America's lead. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't even. Yeah, this is a really long article. Yeah, I don't really care. I mean, of course. I mean, yeah, because China's not stupid. Of course, they want to like progress, right? Especially because uh, you know America likes to you know. I have to be careful because America is run by a certain globalist cabal that I'm not a long, no longer allowed to mention, right? So they have America by the balls, and all they do is use America's might to like run around bullying people. And then, of course, we, the American people, get the blame for what the globalist assholes do to us. So China's like, yeah, screw that. So we're going to just do our own thing and then copy and steal uh, and then implement our own technology. So, yeah, of course... Uh, so of course China's ambition will threaten the U.S. lead, right? Well, so will anybody else. I mean, because if it wasn't China, it'll probably be Japan or somebody else. Yeah. So, all right. So just Google's doing a little virtue signaling that. Eh, I don't really care about that thumbnail. Tech giant gears up to launch new crypto asset for 700 million users in Japan. Crypto set for a big 2020 mainstream push by tech giant line. Social messaging powerhouse. I've never heard of them. Faces a feature of free app across a range of mobile devices. Wow, 700 million people use this thing. Line will launch its crypto asset called Link for trading in Japanese markets as early as April. Oh, very nice. Yeah, so he's got a built so they got a built-in market with a built-in use case already, and they've got 700 million people to do it with. 
yeah, that's actually pretty. I, I doubt there's 700 population of Japan. I'm pretty sure it's not 700 million people. 126.8 million people. That's still pretty impressive. All right, so I guess 60 million people will be using Link right, for the time being. That's still a lot. Right, if I had a thousand people using JMC coin, four hundred four coin, and two by two coin, buying like actually buying and selling, like say, eight dollars worth of premium subscription stuff, yeah, I mean that's a lot of economic activity. So imagine what sixty million people are going to do. Right, there's a reason why Bitcoin is going to go probably well beyond one million, you know, in the next ten, twenty, thirty years or whatever. Right, and once the entire world starts using cryptocurrency and it's very easy to use it. I mean, the uh, economic activity that just, that the value that gets generated from that will just be staggering. You know, tens of trillions of dollars will probably be uh, required. That will be the number probably. Maybe even a uh, maybe even for the first time in human history, a hundred trillion dollars. I don't know. That's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty staggering. I mean, so like, but tens of trillions, I could see. Link is a general purpose utility token that could be says can be used for a bunch of stuff. And you can earn Link through mobile apps on the platform. The DAP, so it's a decentralized application, gives rewards that contributes to the form of Link based on their own reward policy, blah, 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 blah. In 2018 of October, Link initially began trading on Bitbox. Lines Digital Exchange has been available to trade for a while, excluding America and Japan. Huh. Link, oh yeah, so. God, those, those regulations really are a problem. Line says it's planning to introduce Link Token in course of rules established by Japan's virtual currency thing. Okay. Lines are probably creating a new system of peripheral links introduction in Japan. The Tokyo exact launch date will be confirmed in a separate announcement. Okay. So because of regulations, the Japanese could not release the cryptocurrency to token in Japan. That's, that's hilarious. But it looks like they're getting ready to because now the regulations are in place. And then America is behind, but they're actually starting to do something like that. So, uh, so hopefully, you know, America will do it. You know, if not this year, then very little hope, likely, but more li definitely more likely next year, which is going to take forever. All right, so I've rambled on for a very long time. So if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash the Lemon Factor BTC. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's it. So just, you know, smash the subscribe on the right hand side of this page. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just see how this goes. All right. So I covered like a million things as usual. Uh, I just don't really have anything more to say, at least not without risk getting banned or whatever. So anyway, enjoy the rest of your day or night. Uh, I will see you all in tomorrow's videos. And then, yeah, I will continue working on the game because the actual code to make a game, to make a game if you kind of know what you're doing, it's actually uh, it's actually not a lot of code, especially if you're using a like a pre-created game engine, right? Like Unreal Tournament Engine, or in my case, Unity 3D. So all the all, all a lot of the hard heavy lifting coding work has already been done for you. All you have to do is just put the components together, like building a car or a computer, and just attach it to each other, and just you know. So it's actually not that bad. Um, so, uh, so hopefully that also means that uh, running into bugs when I make my game won't be uh, won't be nearly as tilting as I remember from like twenty years ago. So anyway, uh, I will see you all in tomorrow's videos. Thanks for watching, and uh, always remember, Judson Chan, JMC Coin. Let's see, hardly any views. Ah, what a shame. Four hundred four Coin, and yeah, that's my uh, thumbnail.